he figures out uh, a number and gives it to you. Thank you. Uh, would you? Uh, you hang up. <laughs> <You're>, would you? <laughs> <laughs> it just shows him looking at the phone. And then he keeps talking as a subordinate. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, I appreciate it. Oh, I am doing a good job. Why? Thank you, sir. My staff are abominable and need to be beaten. Oh, that may be a bit extreme. He goes on with this fucking ludicrous mm -hmm. conversation until the staff ignore him and go back to what they're doing. Nobody believes him anymore. And I'm sitting here on the chair down there watching him. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the fuck up seat. I like that. Yes, take a card. He's still talking as you go back down and just watch him. And these staff are like, oh, 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 oh. He eventually hangs up and he goes, Number two is very pleased with me. And one goes, I'm behind you, sir. And he goes, oh, oh, oh. Turns around. Yeah. And we'll get rid of the plus 20 to seduction. Not something I'm intending to do. Aww. All right. I shall go for a wonder and try and find. But you're going to seduce number 37 and make him feel very fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's how you fucking make somebody go slowly crazy. Mm hmm. No, I shall not do that. I oh. shall go. I shall go and look for the person who is supposed to be skilled with electronics. Number one twenty-three. Yes, there he is. Um, he. Hold on, let me see what he's doing. High is bad for him. Right. Um, shows you walk in. His door just automatically opens. He's he's just cranking it over and there. He's like, oh god. No, no. I, if he's at home, I would, I would not walk in. All I would right. knock on the door. Yes. Well, same result for him. It definitely throws off his rhythm and shocks him into submission. But eventually, uh, he, he, after a quick uh, shower and stuff, he comes to see what's going on. Number two, he says, as though his arch nemesis, anti-masturbatory man, has just shown up. Number one twenty-three. Number two. When was the last time you visited the Palace of Fun? Uh, I had nothing to do with that. They came willingly. I was not even in the palace at the time. Okay. All right, so, then. He begins to close the door. I had finished. That, ah, he says and opens it again. So the machine, Roy, a life well lived. He looks perplexed. Yes. It's, it's currently broken. Yes. Yes. All right, would then. Like, would you like to have a go at repairing it? Oh. All right. I'll need tools, though. I haven't been able yes. to sign out any tools. Certainly. Come this way. Lots of tools. He mutters as he follows you. So how long have you been here? Questions are a burden. Yes, yes, yes. Music and words, blah, blah, blah. Yes, sir. He says, <laughs> aha, I dodged a bullet, he thinks. <laughs> right, he goes long, into the video game. How long have you been here? Ah, uh, four years. Okay. He looks at you suspiciously, like you're going to say, not long enough. Right. Uh, he attempts his... Um, what, yeah, I was going to say, what is... With electronics, do you have a particular speciality or...? Yes, he says, and then says, where are the tools, please? Yeah. Right. Give me a spot hidden roll. As he pockets yeah. some stuff, yes. Uh-huh. I'm expecting him Woo! to attempt... Give me an amazing spot hidden roll. Oh, yeah. Whoop. It. All right. Yes, he did pocket several tools and stuff while distracting it expertly. Um, but you're a fucking uh, Joshua McKay, and by God, you don't fall for that stupid shit. 
Mm -hmm. You know exactly which four tools he has pocketed and where they are hidden about on his person. He then mm -hmm. attempts his electronics roll in order to make you leave him alone. It's broken, he explains. And then he gives you a lot of... Why don't you try using that tool, pointing to the one in his pocket? That's not a tool. That's my pocket. He attempts to fast talk you. It fails. Oh, shit. It makes itself perfectly reasonable why he can't have that thing that you saw stick into his pocket in there. Ha-ha! He says, I can do everything except the job you hired me for. Ha-ha-ha! I am awesome, man. Anyway, have you seen electronics like this before? Uh, let me check on something. Lower is better for you. Heard about them. They're pretty okay. key. High, high tech. Yes, yes, it is very high tech. Yes. Do, are you, do you know, are you familiar with anybody here who might have knowledge of this sort of electronics and he's just whatnot. stolen four more tools well yes, yes. he says uh, <laughs> he gestures in the distance to get you to look over there he says he doesn't know anything uh, but yes i i can get some other people you want this machine fixed eh yes all right i'll see what i can do i'll be back it mm -hmm. <laughs> shows him like, moving slowly so he doesn't climb too much on the way out. <laughs> he leaves. <laughs> it just shows tools falling in his back. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, he comes back with other people and a lot less tools on him. They complain about the tool bag missing several key tools. I couldn't find that either, says uh, 123, looking defensive. We should get more of the tools. Everybody else looks kind of eager, like, yes, that's a great <laughs> idea. They look to you. We need more tools to fix this, they say. Which particular tools do you need? They give you a long list of things that could be used to construct a variety of things. Being that I have professional level in electronics myself. Yes. Some <laughs> of these tools are not really required for what they're doing, but you could try to make a case you'd just be using more bullshitting than electronics at this point. Yes. <laughs> All right. I think that they need them. Sure. Great. They look, they give each other the, our boss is an idiot look, and they give each other the <laughs> nod. They don't realize the convoluted game you're playing with them. Um, more tools are brought by a very disgruntled-looking person who wonders where all the other tools went. But they uh, now will attempt as a group. I'll do three supports and then try the roll. Bing, bing, bing. Right. Hmm. The three supports all go. The roll uh, has failed. So <laughs> anyway, uh, they all offer to support you. All right. Bing, bing. Bing, bing. Okay, one guy's managed to anti-support uh, two of them, but you get a plus 5% from the one guy who managed to pull through. So go ahead and give me your roll. Good luck. The Sorry, one guy this, is anti Was this the future off. tech roll, or was this the electronics roll? This is just the electronics. Nobody's even touched the future tech yet. Yeah, yeah. Um. And by future tech, I don't mean future tech. I mean alien tech. Yes, yes, alien tech. Yeah, sorry, yes, alien tech, not future tech. Mm. And there, so it'll be that. So that will be that. Um, yeah, so not by half or anything. Well, you've, you've managed Made to at least... Bit, but not by half. Yeah, you've, you've managed to cross uh, one of the hurdles... Let's try the alien tech role. They're all going to attempt to support you, being that none of them. Well, you can tell that the alien tech part is made for somebody with less fingers and more hands. So let's give it a shot here. Support, 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 and support. Well, nobody fumbled. Nobody fumbled. So uh, one guy actually did make his support. He had a fairly good skill. And so you're plus five to your picking up yet another new skill. I'll give you the specifics on which alien tech it is, should you make it. No. 
Bummer. That would have been a fun nerf skill. Not as good as your ropes and pulley skill, but mm. still pretty good. You know, I haven't actually gained a single writing skill this session. Uh, You're not trying hard enough, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got like, what, five or seven last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Was, I think it was six in the end. Wow. That's a freakish number of new skills to pick up. But yeah, yes. you haven't mentioned it on the board yet, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Mm. Got to get you a check and learning somehow. Yes. Oh, wait, no, you, no, you, I'm, I'm sorry. The other guy dunked himself rather than you dunking him. I thought you'd get a check in that stupid ass game. No. Nope, nope. No. I hey, didn't hey. quite make the last roll, unfortunately. It's broke. The four guys chorus in a barbershop quartet. It appears so. You've got the best minds in the village working on it, and apparently it's a prison of dumbasses to keep other dumbasses here. That's all right. All right. Cool. We shall move on from this. Very well. It does irritate you that the one guy who wanted to support you seemed to know more about alien tech than you did. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so. All right, so from the way they're talking about when they're examining electronics and all that sort of stuff, are they? do they appear to be from a variety of time periods? One guy, yeah, one guy was like, uh, when we get out of here, he, he was saying to the air guys, we got to go to Blitz and Chats. It'll be awesome. Because he's actually been there. You're like, motherfucker. He was the one that had a really high. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, piece of shit. I'm going to fucking kill you all and torture you more. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So it appears that you've been thwarted by uh, the village and such, and uh, you had an air skill. Mm-hmm. What yes. would you what would you like to do now? Um that's that that's that uh, so Mountains all around, helicopter, any possible way possible. What were we doing today? Oh, that's right, number 39, trying his nth number escape. He is a persistent one. Mm-hmm. The worst thing is he's got high, uh, some skills and shit, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is good and bad. Mm hmm. All right. Beach, 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 graveyard, cliffs and caves. We did that. There's a thing nearby. I'm going to go to the hospital and talk to number 30, oh no, 39. Oh, go check on number 39. He seems to be unconscious through sedation. Basically, they're keeping him on enough... One of the doctors expresses a lot of concern with continuing to use this many drugs on him. Mm -hmm. He says, "I, we're giving him enough to sedate a horse. We're um, it's not start easing him off him. If, if we do, he begins to regain consciousness. Yes, the helicopter is no longer there. Ah, good, 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 good. Uh, right, they." Uh, they begin adjusting as um, uh, the amount that they're giving them. Dosage, there you go. Dosage, that's the word. 
Yes. They adjust his dosage. Okay. I can't remember if I played chess today or not. Not yet. Uh, I don't think. No, I've lost track of time. You apparently are sliding down the rabbit hole. Yes. <laughs> All right. I shall go and play chess. Excellent. Give me your chess yep. roll. The queen looks rather shaky today. But yeah, no. you only fail, <laughs> not fumble. All right. Where does Rover come from? Um, you're not really sure yet. I shall go and try and work out where Rover came, comes from when he is released. It is released. There's a lot of area to cover. And mm -hmm. uh, so uh, how would you like to find that? I mean, you haven't seen him yet. No. But is, like, some of the shots, some of the photos you've shown has got Rover in the background. So yes. is he actually out and about normally? Yeah. No, yeah. normally, no. Yeah, that's what I You know, he's telling he's around because everybody fucking plays freeze tag at that point. How fast does he move? Uh, about run about sprinting speed, um, okay. at max. So eventually, whoever he's chasing fails their sprint roll, and or they dramatically fall over, and then he gets them. They seem to. It seems that whenever he's chasing somebody, they will find a reason to fall over. All right. So sure why? When I. So I'll try and work out from when I summoned Rover and how long he took to get here. Basically, a couple of months. Yeah, oh, so I basically. see. You're trying to backtrack him. Yes. Basically, um, speed work out a radius. It, it, you're thinking he might be able to come from more than one place because otherwise it would not make logical yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, that's what I'm expecting. But if I get a rough idea that around uh, here it gives me a place to start to look to see if there's a particular spot give me an amazing out. evidence analysis roll okay amazing roll no idea somewhere uh, in the village or near yes. it or outside yes. of it yes you pass a sign that uh says a still tongue makes a happy life <laughs> It's not ominous or anything. He just appears from nowhere. Apparently so. Okay. So she, yeah, that was too long ago. I shall go and chat to number 37. He does not look fucking delighted to see you again. Apparently, this is the most visits he's ever had from a number two ever. Yes. He looks as though he is ready to throw up. And number two, he says. So how often have you had to use Rover? Uh, quite often, sir. Once a week, once a day. Uh, it varies widely depending on who our guests are, sir. Mm -hmm. So in the last week, how many times? Uh, including uh, the couple that you were here for? Mm -hmm. Just those, sir. Just those. Okay. All right. Is there a problem with Rover? No, 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 no. 
Just, he looks huh. totally baffled. Mm -hmm. He attempts to decipher what's going on in your brain. He is obviously failing. <laughs> okay. Is everything all right, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Looks unconvinced. How is number 39 going? Bring up number 39 on the screen. Bring up number 39. <laughs> He's still there, says 37 happily. Number 39 is currently uh, uh, working on, uh, apparently he has something small in one of his hands and he's working on sawing through one of the bindings. He does not know he's being filmed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's just sitting there patiently sawing away at one of the bindings. As a matter of fact, it will get out eventually, you're thinking. How long would it take Rover to get there? Um, a couple of minutes, sir. Shall I dispatch Rover? Or wait until he is closer to freeing himself? Wait until he's closer to freeing himself. <laughs> Cut to just, just... And then it, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going up the tower. Ah, I see. All right. Uh, fucking take a card as you figure out a way to see Rover. Right. Uh, you see it come out of the... Uh, um, uh, what's it called? The pool? Ah. On the what's water it, fountain? Does it, does it do a thunderbird or something and slides out? Well, no, it, it starts really small and gets bigger and bigger and ah. bigger. I think I even have a picture of it doing that. So, yes, you've discovered, but you're pretty sure that when you had uh, it take out with somebody on the beach, it, it didn't have to go through town to get there, so... There may There's be more several locations, yeah. Yes, which is always lots of fun because anytime you can sick this big wobbly fucking white thing onto people, it's fun for you. <laughs> I mean, shit, we'd all like to have something like that too, sick on random people. Where is it? There it is. Let's see and move you over to this tink, and this is it when it's small and in the fountain water. How about that shit? Let me find it. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, yeah. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then eventually it inflates and goes up. And cut to it just shows the guy like emerging from the hospital, and he's like, "Aha!" And the fucking big white ball gets like, "Ah!" <laughs> it, it, it it appears that once the white ball is after somebody, they're fucked. Yeah, I was partly curious to see whether or not he had worked out a way of taking out Rover. Uh, apparently um, not yet. Yeah, because I was thinking. He would expect he would potentially expect Rover to attack to get to him. So had he worked out a way of counteracting Rover yet? You're you're guessing by tomorrow. Yes. They've got him back in the hospital bed. They've searched him again. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty sure he's gonna end up with something else to get himself yes. free. Yes. Again. Of course, if you're just to put him in uh, carbonite, that would fucking do it. God, you they need a carbonite him. pit. They mm. want him cooling his heels here for a while. Yeah, you're thinking that's unlikely. You're 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 starting to suspect that he is his whole goal in life is to make you look bad by continually escaping somehow. Mm-hmm. What are you right. going to do now? You know that number one is going to not wait forever for the answer of what's up with no, number no, six. No. But uh, giving number six a little bit of space to try and to come to, if it comes to terms with things or. Give me a psychology do, role. Do something. And that's the thing. I am not a psychologist. so Nice. That'll make it more challenging. Yes. Oh. 
No, I do not make a psychology roll. Humans are strange creatures, you think? Yes, indeed. But yes, I said I'd give her some space to think about things. Let her work out. Um, all right. Oh, I got to remember I've got the orb of knowledge. I keep forgetting I've got it. What will you do? Hmm. All right. Number 45 is doing that. Didn't come up with anything. Um, all right, I'm going to go and find number six. Ah, where would you like to look? I'll check the beach first in case she's still sitting there. Not at the beach, not at a residence. Mm -hmm. Not in the town. I shall see if I can find 45. Uh, 45 you end up finding at her residence. She looks freaked out that you're back. You're back, she says. Yes. Um, no. Just to let you know. Yes? I had number 123 and a couple other people look at the machine as well. Oh, you really want to play that game, don't you? Yes. You may want to have a chat with them and exchange, see if you can exchange some ideas. Especially number blah, blah, and blah. I'll name, it. I'll name the ones that took tools. And what do we get for this? Well, the pleasure of being able to play something different at this place. She leave, she closes the door behind her and scurries away. All right. Can you please bring back the map? You don't want to just sit there and look at Rover for a while? <laughs> Um, I'm going to go to the caves and see if she's there. No, not there. Okay. The roads on, are they roads actually? Yeah, they look like the roads on the left. Where do they go? Not far. They go like other little residential things kind of close by. Okay. I was in the tower and didn't see her there, so she's unlikely to be in the tower. You see her uh, walking now through the streets. You have no idea where she was previously. You're standing there and feeling irritated. No, that's right. Okay. Is she walking with anyone? No. No. Is she? Is she? The way she's walking, is she just you know like head down, aimless, or is she walking with purpose, or? Uh, she's angry, walking toward her residence. You watch her go by in the creepiest possible fashion. Whether you intend to be or not, it just looks 
like you're plotting evil against her. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the whole world is against you being nice. So evil. I will approach her before she gets to her residence. She, uh, when you get close, she stops and whirls and looks and glares at you. Yes. Would you like to go for a walk, number six? No. She snaps and begins, she whirls and begins angry marching toward her residence. She appears to be very angry with you for some reason. Mm-hmm. So angry, so angry. I'll give an hour or so, then I'll go knock on her door. She does her best to slam the door, but it has an anti-slam feature. <laughs> she even tried it twice. Didn't work. All right, you go back after an hour and uh, knock on her door. Mm-hmm. She screams, go away, and threw something that broke at the door. Possibly the flower. Flower vase. Uh -huh. She appears to be very angry. Yes. Or acting angry. Mm hmm. All right, I'll leave her alone for the moment. You go off and just shows like the, the light kind of hitting you from underneath. <laughs> You're like, stop that. The butler holding a flashlight under your face. I shall go and have dinner. Excellent. Uh, the, the butler uh, uh, bows when you come in and he gets you your pre-dinner drink, your dinner drinks, your after-dinner mm -hmm. drinks. You're thinking that... Several of your teammates would be very much at home here and may not leave. Yes. Um, yeah. The uh, butler then brings in um, uh, the food and then he bows and departs. He serves it, of course. Yes. We're not animals by God. I shall enjoy my meal. You you do, although you know it's like uh, you you are missing your your family, uh, Ahoy and uh, the elf kid. You remember mm -hmm. the elf kid's name? Yeah, Elvin. There you go. Your family. Elfin or Elvin? Elwin, yeah, Elwin. Elwin. Elfin would be a bit fucked up for a name for yes, an elf kid. It would. What's your name? Elfin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What time's curfew in this place? I, it, like some it. nights there is a curfew. Some nights there isn't. It seems to be 11 o'clock p.m. when there is a curfew, unless it's okay. a special 39 has escaped again curfew. Okay. After I finish dinner, etc., I shall go for a walk in the night here. Mm, excellent. You are wandering around at night. Um, oh, as you were getting ready to leave uh, the house, you do hear a phone ringing from somewhere. I shall go to my big dome room. It's so fucking evil looking. You're standing there in the dome room thinking how lucky they are that the... It's not in a cold environment where they'd have to heat all of this. Mm -hmm. I shall work out which of the three phones is ringing. Who in the fuck puts three phones all next to each other? Yep. Do we, yeah, does any of them have a blinking light or anything? No, or... no, they don't. Who in the fuck came up with this design? It's the red phone. Hello. Number two, we yes. need the answer tomorrow. You have until then. After then, she is out of time. Yes. Have a good night's sleep, number two. Click. All right. You go out walking around the village in the night air. Uh, they eventually called a curfew. Um, 
there's a lot of these uh, boxes with like the speakers. Yeah. The happy, overly cheerful female voice, you know, it's curfew time and you know, we'll now play you some music to lull you to sleep type bullshit. And they have no off button. It's like you will get the fucking messages and shit. I am going to number six's residence. All right. Uh, you get there and the door doesn't open. You can almost detect a bunch of people around a fucking camera just staring <laughs> at it like, what do we do? What I do we knock. Do? Uh, right. Uh, you see her on the other side of the door. What? Her voice comes through the door. We really need to talk. She scowls at you. You told them. They made me give a DNA sample at the hospital. I hate you. Go away and die. No, it's not. Yes, it is, she says automatically. We need to talk about the situation. She looks like she really doesn't want to. Give me a fast talk roll to coax her out of her shell, apartment, hacienda. All right. She is not going to come out. Uh, pretty sure I've got no cards whatsoever that are useful. You're thinking she may not ever come out. Uh, I'll spend one hero point on this. Damn, you're spending hero points on weird shit. Yeah, well. Not all sessions are combat orientated, so. Hasn't been a lot of combat in this one. Cut to no. and shows number 39 fucking breaking a doctor's back over his knee. Yeah! <laughs> That's better. Hmm. Shows, it shows uh, number 37 and his subordinates are watching the monitors and number 37 is telling him, my number was too higher. I could do that. And they're just looking you know, like, sure, buddy. <laughs> Right. Eventually, she comes out. She she wraps up and stuff. She can't open her door. Open the door, idiots! Hey. <laughs> and <laughs> she just glares at the at you, glares at the camera, glares at the door, goes with you. Uh, bring a blanket. Yes, walk on the beach. Yeah, bring a blanket. She brings a blanket. All right. We'll you guys beach. are down on the beach, sitting on a blanket. She says, well, talk then, and stop making it nice like this. We're here because it's a good spot to talk without them seeing, picking up what our lips are saying, our lips, or being able to hear. Basically, we've got two tomorrow. Number one still doesn't know. My thinking on the matter at this stage is that the body that was killed, since it never had a DNA test done, was not you. You are you. Which the DNA test will show. If they're doing a DNA test, they, they may discover uh, replicant fading or replicant copy errors so you think you're a replicant as opposed or, to not replicant a clone sorry cloning uh no she says you were right i use the spiritual switchboard and would back myself up every so often mm -hmm. all right but if they yeah, find out what will they do They'll probably want to learn how to do it. It's a public service. Anybody can do it if they have enough money, she says. Yes, but the fact that they seem to want to know how you did it makes me think they don't know. She looks utterly baffled. If it's a public service and anybody can do it and it's normal to be backed up and then restored if you died, 
why would they be asking oh. me to get the information out of you? I don't know. Yeah, that's the bit that doesn't make sense. Yes. Well, not everybody does it, and it's definitely not advertised who is doing it. No, but what's what's the law in that, in that regard? For example, if it's in this instance, like certain. you're killed in your back, do you, do you assert your legal rights? Well, even if I don't, my family would probably hire me on for stuff. But yes, they could definitely, if they had proof or confession, then they could pressure me with that and threaten to reveal it to the family because maybe the family doesn't know. What's Yeah, but what's the legality about it, as in? Once you die, then you lose your rights officially. But if people don't know that you died, then you don't. Mm. This is why people don't advertise when they're backed up. Yeah, yeah. Like data, she says, cur cursing the word. I don't understand why you would work for them, though. You seem like a decent fellow. I'm not working for him. I've been trying to work out a way of moving forward about this. She tries to keep herself from rolling her eyes. One of them kind of takes upward a bit. <laughs> the... Anyway, so you've got till tomorrow when... What do I do? So we either try and get out of this place. And this by the way, possible. To, number 40, uh, 45, for example, comes from the 1970s. It's different people of what? the year, the era, Gee, the time period. Baffled. That's not possible. Well, other people I've spoken to have come from different time periods, some potentially more advanced than your time period. She looks a bit creeped out by all this. Even if I believe you, that makes no sense. In what way doesn't it make sense? You can't travel time and pick people up like fruit along the sides of the road and put them all in the same basket. Why not? Because time travel is impossible. It breaks it's... Einstein's rules of energy and mass conservation. What about magic? Is magic possible? No. Well, it is. She looks at you yeah. like you're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. Harry Potter. Great. Heard of it. Maybe yes, even watch yes. the film or two. Perhaps I own a couple of the wands from the, the store, but I don't think that's possible. Anyway. Some places it's harder than others. I don't know what's going on um, in that regard. Now, but yes, the question is how to get out of this place. It's not possible. They've moved the helicopter and I don't know how to fly. Do you know how to fly a helicopter? No idea. Ah. 39, on the other hand, does. It's a two-seater, she says. Yes, I have other ways out of this place. That's possible. There's no way out of here. How, you, the shark-infested waters. I've seen them in the distance, or it's dolphins. I'm really not sure on the difference. As as I've as I've said, anyway, there there is a basically there's a trans-dimensional wormhole underneath the um, building too. She gives you and what might be called a very old-fashioned look. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know. It sounds like bullshit. So but... wait, wait. Uh, if these people are all from different times, what time do are do you think that we're in? Well, that's the problem. That's why I don't know whether or not... That's the issue about if taking a helicopter would actually get you out of here or not. Given the technology I've seen here, it would not make sense that it would help. Yeah. I mean, because 
on one hand, everything here appears to be in the 1960s, and then you've got Rover, which is an act and which is a bit different to everything here. And you've also got that arcade machine that is different to everything else here. That's got alien, appears to be alien technology in inside it. So there is no escape, is what you're trying to tell me. I don't know. Well, well actually, are you familiar with alien technology? Which aliens? I don't know. The machines, um, uh, blips and chits. Lower is better for you. Now. <laughs> All right, so you are familiar with aliens, though. Well, Why some. Don't... I mean, you know. She names off several. She makes Great. several weird noises. <laughs> yes. All right, so. Something I've never. Something that I've never asked you is what. Do you have any ability, any technical abilities? Uh, not really. I run a business. It doesn't mean you wouldn't have technical abilities, but yes, you're a business uh, I know woman. I some of the lingo, but I'm primarily a business woman, yes. Yeah, that's right. Just worth it, worth a shot. Mm. Um. Do you know Porter Winter? No. I see. Problem is, your name, your name's... And Porter Winter's name is vaguely familiar, but I don't know where from. She looks really, really frustrated and confused. Confused yes. and frustrated. And yes, I am confused and frustrated and as angry. well. Yes. Um, he sits there feeling angry and confused. All angry. right. You can't see. You can't see the gates and you probably can't use it. So that's not a way out for you. The helicopter is gone. I'm surprised they left it around for so long. However, Mr. 39, aka James Horton, as he was previously known as. She tries a roll on that. She says, Mike Gardner? <laughs> no, unless he was infiltrating your business for some reason. It worked for me for decades. <laughs> no, I don't think God, that's the slowest infiltration I've ever heard. <laughs> she looks like, oh my God, my gardener's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what is my gardener to do with this? Number 39 is, well, he's been quite good at escaping. He seems to be some sort of secret agent or something. I see. And some you sort think of that he can get me out of here? Possibly. But What's to keep him from just slitting my throat and leaving me behind? He doesn't, he doesn't seem like that sort of guy. He's, he likes seducing women and that he's the heroic type. So you're damsel in distress type thing. You're, you're a, um, you're a woman held against your will here. So. All right. So you think I should go with him? Potentially. But as I said, not knowing the whole thing about this time differences and stuff, it's really, and there doesn't seem to be any people wake up here. No idea how people get in here. So I'm trapped somewhere in time. Possibly, unless a lot of these people are actors and stuff and they're just carrying on about it. It's one big farce, but who knows? What should I do? There's too many variables, unfortunately to give a clear indication as to an easy way out at this moment. Um, as I said, like number, for, uh, eight, yeah, number 39, James Horton is potentially the best way for you to get out of this place. I'm thinking at this stage. 
Hmm. Well, where is he now? I can go. He's in the hospital. Restrained. That wouldn't be too hard to get him out of there. I mean, mo most of the security people here are bumbling fools. She looks toward the hospital just as a small explosion and large fireball rise above it. I see him escaping again. Oh, I guess I should get going. She says, yes. and stands up. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, she says, I will see what he's up to. Yes. She heads off into the darkness. What do you do? I'm going to follow along and then distract guards, pointing guards in different directions. Excellent. Give me a stealth roll not to be spotted by her and perhaps 39 who will doubtless want to grab you and slam you against some building and then throw you somewhere again. Well, actually, that potentially may help her help her get, depending on the situation, I may actually intentionally let him see me to make him think I'm after her. So he will definitely Ooh, want to help her I like escape. that. Well, all right. Uh, give me an acting role then to act as though you're after her, but you can't quite catch her. I'll give you a plus 10% since the entire fucking zone seems to be trying to make you more evil. <laughs> so it's fitting into that whole narrative. Fumble. And you fucking fumble it, right? It's like, save me, save me. And the cat's like, help me, help me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Let's see how the bad guy's doing on his looking around shit. Yeah, he spots you immediately. Mm -hmm. And he's like, mm -hmm. uh, maybe he goes through all kinds of stuff. Um, right. He's he, he, he's going to grab the girl and run away, is your guess. <laughs> All right. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, good. He, let's see how he does on his uh, grab the girl and run away. I will play okay. assistant plus 10 on him. I uh, actually do it for this part, his dramatic escape role. Yeah, sorry. Yes, then I'll play the assistant plus 10%. Yeah. And I've got an assistant plus 5% as well. Can I play both of them on him? No, you can do one, one per. Uh, right. But, uh, right, it's... Early in the morning, you've had breakfast brought to you by the butler. He's a good butler. And you're hanging out with number 37 as uh, they're scouring the area looking for number 39 and number 6. They're not mm -hmm. sure where they went. They saw, they saw that you were in the area, but apparently you missed out on them. Oh, uh, and I'm going to the hospital. They wave goodbye to you? Yeah. Okay. It, it, in between all this going on, the other thing is I want to do, I want to go to the hospital. Right. And um, we've, see see how things are going there, and with all the commotion in the hospital, with after the explosion and stuff. Uh, to, people are running around like their heads are cut off. It's yeah, just the biggest clusterfuck ever. I want to find the sample they took of number six because the helicopter is not here. means they wouldn't have shipped it out yet. Excellent. Give me... You, one, take, two, a, take a card for thinking, thinking uh, clever shit there. And give me a... Uh, uh, what, what do you want to use to go find that shit? Well, they've probably got antiquated computer. They probably don't. Well, there's no computer systems in this place. Okay. Um, so, Do you know where they would keep a DNA type sample? Well, they'd keep it in the cold cabinet pretty much. Right. You go to a cold cabinet. Ah, to be shipped. It's in a box. It says to be shipped for priority and stuff. Probably in here is your guess. Yes, yes, yes. Aha. The it's a pity about the fire in this area as well. Pardon? It's a pity about the fire in this area as well. <laughs> Take a card for style. Uh, you, you redirect some guards. A blaze gets going. You go, oh, no. And, uh, yeah, it just it burns the shit out of everything. Uh, number one will not be happy. Oh, no. It shows, it shows 39 getting slapped the fuck out of for trying to come on to number six. She's like, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. 
Uh, oh, I keep forgetting I've got an open knowledge. Um, mm -hmm. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. End of mission refill, if nothing yeah. else. As I suspect, you're getting ready to wind up. Yeah, uh, I'll get rid of the assistant plus D10 damage. Ah. Oh. Right. right. Is there anything else you'd like to do before what I suspect you're going to do? Walk through the portal. Just stick around long enough to make sure they get away. And if not, if it looks like things are getting close, potentially interfere so them. that they can get away. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like uh, anybody's figured out how they did it. Um, they did. They did uh, think they saw them. They sent out rover, but it was destroyed somehow. It shows uh, the guy holding up a scalpel and rover. Yeah, boom, <laughs> yeah I was wondering it was something simple like that. <laughs> He's like, "What a stupid I've creature!" Made, I've made three or four bungee spikes. Let's see how he goes rolling over these. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, um, the red phone begins to ring. Hello. Number two. This is number one. Where is mm -hmm. number six? It appears that. Um, she assisted 39 to escape. Number, number two, you will be punished for your reprehensible slacking. You're allowing this to happen. You have doomed yourself. Question for you. Yes? How does this place exist with people from different time zones? That is classified. Please report immediately to the hospital for detention. Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was easy. Things hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> They're not good at things here. Um, no. You go step through the portal? <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe grab some brandy or something. Grab some cigars. The grab butler has them, uh, has them ready for you. He offers yep. them to you and bows, <laughs> and away you go. Nice. He did smile a bit in a very secretive fashion as you uh, wandered off. And mm -hmm. it, that's the end of the adventure as you hop through the uh, portal. And don't forget your orb of knowledge. Feel free to yes. discard all the cards that you don't want and then refill yes. your hand. All right. So spell keeps going. Don't need that. And Big who knows slay. where you will come out because we won't find out until Saturday next. Yes. Big Jib Slay, don't need that. 